Nothing in the car I need to know about, okay? No, Why is there a spoon underneath there? I know, it's just so hard. I mean, you start to feel sick. It's hard. What you want, what you want, what you gonna do when Sherry John Brown come for you? We're just doing standard traffic enforcement. Um, observed the black Mustang doing at least 10 miles an hour over the residential neighborhood speed limit of 25. Followed it for a little bit, did a traffic stop. Upon approach to the, the vehicle, the driver um, had, was obviously high in the past or was high at the time because he was very, uh, what we would call, um, just had the look of being maybe a dope sicker. Very nervous. You could tell there was probably something um, possibly inside the car or on his person. Hey, bro, do you use your window roll down? No, it doesn't, sir. Okay. Any drugs or weapons in the no, car or anything like that? No. Okay. Hey, you know why I stopped you? No. Okay. You know a subdivision, that's a subdivision street over there, right? The subdivision street? I don't know. No, okay. Don't know. What, what's the speed limit in a subdivision? 30? Yeah, no, it's 25, but you're going a little bit over 35, I'm so okay? Sorry, officer, my speedometer doesn't work, sir. Okay. I'm so no big deal. Do you have your driver's license no, on you? I don't, sir. You don't have a driver's I'm license? Of getting it. Okay. While doing a, a inventory of the vehicle or a search of the vehicle, I noticed that the dashboard had been loosened uh, at some point. Being an older model, model car, it's not always impossible, but um, when I lifted up the dashboard, I, it revealed a lot of pieces of tinfoil, which are, are generally used for smoking heroin or maybe sometimes pills. Opening up the tinfoil, you could see the tracks inside the tinfoil, um, which on the streets they call chasing the dragon, which they use a straw and, and light up um, whatever they're trying to smoke, and they just smoke the, the smoke off of it. Once I located these things, he, again, to, began to get uh, a lot more nervous and I knew he probably had uh, dope on him somewhere or uh, some sort of heroin. I searched him a few more times, didn't find anything and I figured a lot of times what they'll do is when we're going to pull them over they'll, they'll place something in their sock or their shoe uh, kind of like as a, as a quick uh, place to hide it. Um, asked him to kick off his shoes and as soon as he pulled his sock off he kind of gave me the look like you got me. I'm having a tough time believing you don't got any heroin on you. Can you kick your shoes off for me? about your socks. You can relax, just, just flip your socks inside out for me. Okay, Jan, right back. And he's 21. Doing these, the, the heroin, the, the meth, the, you know, the, the hardcore stuff like that really takes a toll um, on these guys. So um, you, you could tell there was some sort of, almost a relief that he did get arrested. Hey, how long you been on it, man? Months. Huh? A couple months. You been trying to quit or no? Yeah. I know it's tough, man. I know, it's just so hard. I mean, you start to feel sick. It's just, it's hard. Are you dope sick right now? No, yeah, yeah, I'm dope oh. sick right now, yeah. yeah. All in all, we talking to the, the suspect, he, he was a pretty good guy. He just, you know, he's got a problem and he just uh, was asking to get some help. And so hopefully that's something that he can do through the court system or whatever the case may be, because the thing is, is out here, we're not gonna be able to help somebody. It's just, it's gonna be up, uh, you know, up to him at this point.